Hey everybody. Welcome back to this is epic. Thank you for joining me. Let me begin today's story. Years later at Hastinapur, a few things have changed in the lives of the royal family. Many years have passed since King Shantanu and Satyavati's marriage. They have had two sons. and few years have passed since king shantanu's passing away king shantanu has left behind his wife satyavati his two sons from their marriage chitravirya and vichitravirya as well as his eldest son from his first marriage to the goddess ganga bhishma both chitravirya and vichitravirya have grown up completed their education one day prince chitravirya goes to battle with a group of gandharvas gandharvas are higher beings who live in swarga and are the musicians to the devas they are the counterparts to apsaras they are known for their good looks and an easy carefree luxurious life in the battle unfortunately Prince Chitravirya loses is captured by the enemy and killed by them After this event his younger brother Vichitravirya is crowned the king Bhishma as per his oath has been leading a life of celibacy and has been in service to the throne of Hastinapur Some days after the Pattabhisheka ceremony an invite by Kashi Raja reaches the palace of Hastinapur the invite was to a swayamvara ceremony that kashi raja is holding for his three princesses a swayamvar is a kind of a wedding ceremony where the father of the bride invites eligible princes and kings from several kingdoms and one by one they are all introduced to the princess finally she chooses her own groom and her decision is final the one exception to this rule was that any guest can claim the princess by show of force let me explain a guest can challenge all the other guests of the swayamvar for a fight and he who wins the fight wins the princess after careful consideration it is decided that bhishma will be attending the swayamvar as a representative of his king in order to avoid any dangers that may befall the king and or the kingdom while he is away on the day of the swayamvar bhishma has reached the palace of kashi raja and so have all the other guests just as the ceremony is about to begin bhishma declares that he is claiming all three princesses for his king vichitravirya saying so he challenges those who object to this for a fight his words shock everyone they feel cheated out of their chance to marry one of the princesses but bhishma's reputation had preceded him he was known for his pratigya or the oath they were also aware of his prowess that he was a student of the great axe wielding brahmin parshurama they were also aware of the boon he had received the boon of being an ichha marani keeping all these facts in mind nobody dared to accept his challenge nobody stopped him from carrying out his plan hearing no objections from the host the princesses and the guests Bhishma starts his journey back to Hastinapur along with the three princesses to be continued in the next episode until then choose the light be the light